You all know who Kylian Mbappe is. But did you know he had a twin called Lillian Mbappe? No, 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 no. He doesn't, but for the purpose of this video, he does. And as you can see, Lillian has identical attributes to Kylian, even down to his height and weight. He's just on a lot less money. And that's because Lillian Mbappe is in the second division of France playing for Paris FC and predicted to finish fourth in the league. So can Lillian Mbappe help his Paris-based side get into the top division and challenge PSG before a bigger club comes in and signs him? And will Lillian destroy the second division? Let's find out. So the first season has been simulated and as we can see, Liverpool won the Champions League beating Barcelona in the final. So no sign of PSG. They did, however, win the French league by quite a sum margin as well. Seven points beating Monaco there in second place. But there is no sign of the goals for Mbappe, but he has the highest average rating in the league with Lionel Messi getting the second highest assist. And he also has six man of the matches, only second to Kevin Volland. So did he score a lot of goals? Well, if we take a look here, he actually finished in fourth. 21 goals in 31 appearances. That's not really the numbers that I would expect from Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe, and he does have an injury recently, so maybe he has actually picked up a few injuries this season. It does look like he's had a couple. In the second division, though, we can see Paris FC are getting themselves promoted, so we will see the two twins going up against each other, and Lillian Mbappe is first in the goals with 32. That's nine more than the second place Krasil there, and he has the highest average rating with 12 man of the matches. I mean, I'm not too surprised. I'm acting like this is a shock and he is wanted already by Barcelona and Real Madrid very interesting he also got himself 13 assists and his xg was only 20 so he scored 32 goals with only an xg of 20 that is very impressive now we can also see he got three assists and two goals in the french cup he only played three games so i'd imagine they didn't get to the final of that no psg won that cup as well against nice in the final so maybe we can see how far paris fc got from this yeah they were actually not down penalties uh which is a bit of a shock result there you'd expect them to go through against a team that i don't think yeah they are like the third division side there so a bit of a shock result for Paris FC getting eliminated that's a shame we might have seen them reach a certain point where they actually face PSG just not right now we now go on one more year and see who has the bragging rights in the first season where they encounter each other second season then and of course PSG have won the league again by 13 points but Paris FC have survived only just five points clear of the relegation zone so we'll take a look at them first because we can't actually see either player in any of the player statistics here which does surprise me so we'll go to Paris FC first he is still at the club that's good he's captain he's their key player Lillian Mbappe is still there he's injured but it's only been recently on USA duty he still has that 20 pace of acceleration only 18 goals in 34 appearances in the league with four assists with an xg of 12 so he is still outscoring his xg but I'm not quite as impressed as what I thought I would be with Mbappe playing at a lower kind of standard side and he isn't actually wanted by any other players again which does surprise me so yeah some way off what he got in the season previously but of course there was a step above but if we do go back to that league one PSG do they still have Killian they do indeed now Killian has by the looks of it only played 23 games and he's only scored 12 so not a lot either with not a lot of XG or assists I think there's been another injury here I think his season yes we've got another major injury there and another the moderate so he's missed three weeks and five weeks there so eight weeks in total so you're probably looking at around about 12 games across different competitions there that that injury from last year he was actually out for four months so he might have even struggled coming back at the start of the season if he wasn't fully fit so Kylian Mbappe has actually had him had some problems let's compare them let's compare them so there is some slight differences and it does shock me considering that Lillian Mbappe has hardly had any injuries by the looks of it anyway he's played Played a lot more games that Kylian Mbappe actually has better attributes. So does that mean that Killian's has gone up or Lillian's has gone down? It's not too drastic, but we are seeing some kind of like a little bit of a step up in mentals and technicals there, which does surprise me. It really does surprise me. So that's not bad. They didn't win the Champions League or anything. All I want to see is the French Cup. Uh, let's take a look at the French Cup and they, oh my God, Paris FC got to the final. 
and they lost to Nice. So two years in the row, Nice got to the final. But this time round, they beat Paris FC instead of losing to PSG. That's unfortunate. And it even took Lillian Mbappe off. He was having a 6.7 rating and he decided to take him off in the 64th minute. You just wouldn't do that at nil-nil, would you? That's a stupid decision from their, from their manager. In the two fixtures between the teams, by the way, PSG were victorious in both, with Killian scoring in the away match for PSG. The following season became very interesting with Paris FC finishing in 6th place and Lillian Mbappe having the highest average rating and most amount of the matches. PSG won the league, but I'm wondering whether the formation is hampering Mbappe at PSG. Because he only had one minor injury this season, but only started 28 games and only scoring 10 goals. He is atrocious, isn't he? But the thing that caught my eye was that Lillian Mbappe was letting his contract run out and Europe's elite are all injured. Interested. And he made his move to the Premier League with Liverpool, taking his wage up to £220,000 a week. But his twin brother Killian just signed a contract for over four times as much across the next four seasons. Say what? But Lillian's first season in the Premier League wasn't a great one after they finished in second place, and he wasn't even in the top three goal scorers of the league either. He did have the highest average rating though at 7.64 so we'll give him that and we can see he did only score 15 Premier League goals with an XG of 12 and getting himself 6 assists and 6 mile of the matches but that was 4 penalties. So he actually only scored 11 goals from open play and 25 goals across the season with 6 from penalties 19 from open play. I don't think that's as good as numbers as what I'd expect. Now with Liverpool we can see Jurgen Klopp is still the manager and tactically they do still play a 4-3-3 and he is playing in that striker role so I would expect a lot more numbers coming from Mbappe. Surprisingly neither team won the Champions League. We can see Liverpool won it the year before but with Lillian Mbappe they did not even get to the final and Leipzig beat Bayern Munich in an all-German final on penalties. I definitely did not see that coming. And without Lillian Paris FC finished bottom of the league. We cannot replace him. We cannot. The year is now 2030, so we've gone forward about four seasons. And let's see, Liverpool, they are still stuck in second place. Have they managed to win the Premier League since? It, they actually have. They've won the season after Lillian Mbappe joined. However, he is still only putting in 18 goals this season with the highest average rating again for Liverpool. If we do click on Liverpool, Steven Gerrard is now the new manager. Probably the reason why they're not winning the league. Tactically, they are playing a 4-3-3 still and it does look like he is coming off the right-hand side, which might be the reason why he's not scoring as many. Kravitz Schalia is on the left there with Tammy Abraham up top. Now, they are at the age of 31 now, are the Twins. So, that's going to be quite interesting to see. Paris FC obviously got themselves relegated. Maybe they'll be back fighting in League 1. Let's take a look at League 1. We can see that PSG have won the league again this season, but they actually went a season where they didn't. And Kylian Mbappe is still there, as we can see, 17 goals this season with, again, the highest average rating. So, both Mbappes are putting in the highest average rating for their leagues. 20 goals last season, 20 won a few seasons before that but again there is a lot of injuries by the looks of it where he only played 19 games almost half of the games were lost probably down to injury in the 27 28 season so that's gonna be quite a, a big factor in the in the gap between these two players whether one of them is playing a lot but if we go to comparisons it is still Kylian Mbappe who has the highest attributes and has better attributes than his brother. So whether it's the fact that his brother hasn't developed as well as him, they are basically identical players. I just duplicated them in the database using the pre-game editor. So I don't quite understand how there's such a gap in between Killian compared to Lillian when really he's at Liverpool now. He should be getting the, that really good development from both of them. The Champions League is also just been won by PSG. So Mbappe is, or Kylian Mbappe, sorry, is now a Champions League winner for the very first time. 
but Lillian Mbappe beat him to it because two seasons ago we can see here Liverpool won the Champions League against Manchester City in the final and they were runners up last season so they have done really well Lillian Mbappe have act has actually won a Champions League before Killian but on the world golden ball not one of their names has appeared we can see Killian there is in third place Lillian is in third the season before that but they have not won it Lillian Mbappe in second place there in behind Vinicius Jr. And they, I, I still find it quite staggering that neither of them have managed to win the what basically is the Ballon d'Or. I then shuffled to 2035 when the Twins would be 36 and only Killian was still playing and his attributes still look fantastic. Look at that pace. Ah, also Kadith have won the La Liga, which I thought I would mention as that's really weird. And Bill Bowers won it too in 2030 and 32. I had to go back one season to see Lillian Mbappe just before he did actually retire. So we can see a 2034. He is about to retire here. And he is still really good. Like we can see in his actual attribute details, he still has a current ability of 160, which is being one of the world's best players. Maybe just not as good as his brother so if we actually went to liverpool they finished second in the premier league that season which isn't bad but what i do want to take a look at is how he has actually done his milestones if you will we can see he has managed to win a lot of different uh, accolades and trophies including fa cups with his club it does look like he was again in the third place for the golden ball so i don't think he ever really won it but it's nice to see he's had an okay season he's been in the world team of the year a few times he's won the premier league he's won the champions league but is it is as good as his brother because in his final year his brother killian won the golden boot for psg in league ah oh, now this is of course an a far uh, less better quality league than the Premier League, but it's still an accolade that Kylian Mbappe, and he does look so much better. So if we took a look at attribute details, he's still at 186. How he's managed to stay at 186 at the age of 35. I bet, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm stunned. But we can see he's had some phenomenal seasons and this is actually his best in goals wise. 34 games, he scored 25 goals, 38 in total across the season that is phenomenal stuff well seeing as both players stayed at those teams we can quite easily see who won the champions league more and it was killian who actually won back-to-back -back champions leagues with psg uh, after liverpool and lillian mbappe won it in 2028 they never managed to do it again which i bet i i i i, I, I am quite shocked with so killian mbappe did he ever manage to win the world golden ball or as we know it the ballon door i can see he's world footballer of the year the world golden ball i think he has won it he has oh my god he's won it three times in a row and that means only one thing that killian mbappe is better than his twin brother lillian mbappe who remember doesn't exist thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it make sure you subscribed if you haven't done so and i'll see you on the next one why not check out this video where I stuck Mbappe and Haaland in non-league.